Hi guys, welcome to Linksar YouTube channel. My name is Ram Mishra and I am your online instructor. So what's in this video? In this video, I will tell you how to install Docker Compose on Linux. So guys, let's begin the topic. But before start the lab session, we have to understand few points, which is what is Docker Compose and its use cases. So Docker Compose is a useful tool for running multi-containers Docker application. Using this tool, we can configure the application services in YAML file that helps you to create and start all services from the defined configurations. It allows different users to launch, run, and communicate and close containers using just single coordinate command. So Docker Composer works in all environments like production, staging, development, testing, and etc. It allows to create and execute multiple isolated environments on single host and it preserves volume data used by your services or when containers are created. Apart of that, it can reuse the existing containers, which is also an effective feature. So lots of uh, things related are available on the Docker documentation official website. So you can grab it from here. So guys, let's start the lab session and we'll see how it is useful for us. So let's talk about the prerequisite of Docker Composer tool. We need a machine running a Linux based distribution. Docker should be installed on your system and sudo root privileges are needed to install the Docker Composer. So for the demonstration purpose, I'm using rel 9 virtual machine where I have already installed Docker command line tool. So if you don't know how to install the Docker in Linux, you can go through my previous video from my Docker playlist where I have uploaded a video how you can install the Docker in Red Hat Enterprise Linux. As you can see, this is my Linux terminal. Here it is my Linux terminal. And let me show you the OS release version of this machine and Docker version. So let me log in with root user account and I'm logging and I'm run the command host name CTL. You can see currently I'm working on rel 9. And if I go with the Docker hyphen hyphen version, Docker hyphen hyphen version, the Docker is already installed, right? So let me take the SSH of this machine from my virtual machine box. So I'm here, click on VM, go to the SSH, connect to SSH, give the password, I'm logging. So this is my uh, terminal of Docker server, right? So now you can see I have taken remote SSH of my Linux box. Let me check the current condition of Docker images and container using following command. So docker images and docker ps-a. So currently you can see I don't have any container images and container available on this box. So first of all, let's install curl and wget command which is required download the docker composer binary from the github. By default it's available in rel 9. We can check it using rpm query command. So if I go with rpm query wget and curl both are successfully available. You can see that both packages are already installed, but if it is not available, then go through the DNF or yum command line tool like this. You can replace rpm query with yum or DNF yum install install hyphen y and wget and the curl command, right? So it's already pre-installed in rel line. Now go to the next step, which is download the Docker Compose binary. So Docker Compose binary can be directly downloaded from GitHub project release. In most popular Linux distribution, Docker Composer may be, Compose may be included in their package manager, but these are outdated. So therefore it is a best practice to download the latest binary from the release page. Here we are installing 1.29.0 that is available with all its dependencies. So the download the Docker Composer binary by using the following command. So I have a command and I have already copied in my notepad file. Let me copy from here and run it, run it here. So let me copy and right click and paste. So once I press enter, it started. So uh, at the end of the video, I will copy this link in my description. You can copy directly from there, right? So this command will download the appropriate binary for your system and place it into the user local bin directory, right? Now move to the next step, which is change file permissions. Once the binary file is downloaded, make the file executable by changing the permission on the file using the following command like chmod command. So we can go with the chmod command plus x usr local bin and we have docker compose perfectly. Now we have successfully installed docker composer. We can uh, verify the version using the following command docker compose hyphen hyphen version look at that it's successfully installed right now you can see the installed version of my docker compose command now move to the next step which is how to use uh, docker compose command 
So test installation of Docker Compose to verify that is it's working correctly with Docker container. So first create a new directory for setting up the Docker Compose file. So let me create a directory mkdir demo. Let me move to that directory demo. And now you need to create a docker compose.yml file. This is a configuration file in which you will describe the containers information such as service, port banding, network environments, every variables and volumes. Here we will go with the sample docker compose.yml file. So I have, so for the being time saving purpose, I have already read, uh, written the code for the, this demonstration. Let me copy from my time directory and paste it here and then I'll go to explain one by one. So I'll move to the time directory where my Docker Composer file is there and I'm pasted here. So let me cat and I'm trying to explain each and everything. So <clears throat> here in the first line, I started with, uh, uh, with the run as a part of our application, we define the list of the containers or services. So the web and the PHP keyword, this is here, web and the PHP. This is the web and this is the PHP. So web and the PHP keyword are used to define two separate services. Then the image keyword, I'm talking about this one, image. Then the image keyword is is used to specify the image from Docker Hub for our web and PHP containers. For the web, we are using the port keywords this is the ports so i want to rewrite the port also ports keyword to maintain the port mention the ports that need to be exported for web container and then finally i used link for links the container this is links so link instruct docker to link container over a network when we link the container docker creates environment variable and adds container to the known host list so that they can discover each other so in my example php is reachable from web container so now move to the final step which is launch the container in demo directory so for launch container i'm going with i'm going to with docker compose up command with deattach mode so using the docker compose up command we need to start the application stack uh, to run everything in the background we use hyphen d flag so command is docker compose up and hyphen d once i press enter let's see what happen okay it's creating demo file with the default driver pulling php so the output should uh, should shown that uh, the docker compose install installation in working correctly and it will take time little bit so just wait for a couple of minutes let it be complete first then we will start the next part so currently you can see php <coughs> Sorry, image is going to be pulled and extract. Okay, it's done successfully. Now, started Nginx, that is web. Okay, pulling. It's downloading. Extracting. okay done done yeah so now it's completely successfully done now we can uh, we will check running containers and docker images so i'll go back again with docker images command one more time and yep see docker ps hyphen a even we have docker compose we can say ps so now guys you can see both images displayed and containers is in up and running condition and let's check the nginx port mapping so its port mapping is 8080 am i right so how we can check that we can go with the curl localhost port 8080 so once i press enter yep you can see that welcome to nginx web page so you can see the nginx welcome web page port mapping is also working and now finally we can we can similarly stop and destroy the container so uh, if I wanna stop and uh, remove the container with the docker compose command, the command is docker compose, we can say stop, it will stop both container, okay, done successfully. So now if I go with docker compose ps, you can see it stopped and if you wanna remove, what you will say, you will go with the rm command and it will show you, are you sure to continue, say yes it will remove successfully. So now if I go with the docker compose ps or even I can go with docker ps-a, it's all successfully removed.
right so guys this is how we can install docker compose on linux based distro and we will also see how to use docker compose for running container images finally guys this is the end of this topic and hopefully you enjoy the learn new things soon i will come up with another new interesting topic till then keep practicing if you feel something i have missed or you wanted to know more something is please reach out through my social media links which is mentioned in the description if you like this video please do not forget to like share and subscribe my channel and press the bell icon group button for the latest update thanks for watching stay safe and goodbye